In this video, we will explore what happens when stage one of the skater's simulation comes to an end. The simulation comes to an end when all of the tasks have been completed. You can see the progress on the skater's clock when you log in. You can also see any tasks that have not yet been completed by looking at the simulation task progress form. When there are 15 tasks completed, that means there is one task left to do, and this is a simple task. To access this task, simply log in as the sales manager and wait for emails. An email will arrive advising you to prepare for your assessment tasks. If you are operating independently, then this doesn't matter to you. Once you then log out of the sales manager form, the simulation will come to an end. It takes a minute or two. The login form will disappear and a data processing form will appear at the top where the skater's clock used to be. The system must now generate one year worth of orders for the system and this takes a few minutes. It will also generate revenue for the second year and the revenue will be somewhere between three and five million pounds. The amount of revenue generated is dependent upon your performance in stage one of the simulation. Once all of the data has been generated, and this will be offered to you later for analysis, a button will appear in the processing form and you will click this to progress into stage two. As we can see from the video, approximately £5 million was generated as revenue in stage one for this simulation. Click move to the next stage when the data processing is finished and read the information that's presented to you. Process performance advises how many clicks it took you to finish the simulation and this influenced the amount of revenue you generated in stage one. The end of simulation stage one form will then load. You can click on the certificates button to download certificates for everybody on the team. You can also click on analytics to download all of the data necessary for analysis of stage one. The certificates will be put in a folder in the skaters docs folder that has been created for you. There will be a certificate for each role that was used in the simulation. In the skater's doc, you can see a copy of every document that was generated during the course of the simulation. And you can go back and look through these to make sense of the simulation once stage one has finished. But before you commence your analysis, you will need to download all of the data for stage one. And you do this by clicking on the analytics button and the analytics form will load. From the analytics form, in the top right hand corner, you can see a button export analytics data and you'll need to press this in a little while. Before you do, you can have a look around at the data in a kind of dashboard showing performance of skaters during the second year of business. Various metrics will be presented and some of these can be compared with key performance indicators to analyze performance of skaters during the second year. So make sure you click on the export the data as you will need this for analysis. The data will be stored again in the skaters docs folder for you and you can go and open it afterwards.
So if you open the folder, you can now see there are lots of spreadsheets included in the skaters docs folder. And these are spreadsheets of data from the second year of operations, but also include the first year of orders. And you can open all of these spreadsheets and analyze them from various perspectives and various roles in the company. Once you have downloaded this data, then when you are ready, you can move on to the next stage. That's stage two of the simulation. If your tutor is supervising you during the simulation, then they will advise you when to do this. If you are operating independently, you can press this whenever you wish. The Skaters Manager form will load, and this is your main interface in stage two. Stage two isn't timed, and you can do it at your own pace. You can interface with many aspects of the system to improve decision making in the organization. You can look at departmental budgets, structures, mission statements. You can look at the organization strategy and various other things, including pricing and warehouse data. You can also run forecasts and allocate bonuses to improve motivation or run forecasts to help calculate the amount of capital budget available for the coming year. And this will then act as a financial constraint on any investments you want to make for year three in order to improve the company. There are two ways of forecasting revenue for year three, either through sales as an extrapolation of uh, pricing or through marketing as uh, an extrapolation of market growth. You can also look at things like suggestions on where the warehouse should be located. This uses the weighted center of gravity model to determine the best location for the warehouse in year three. This might be something you want to calculate yourself or something that you want to have a look at the worked example. In the strategy section, you can add new projects. Two or three example ones have been created for you. You can delete these uh, and then add your own by using the button to add strategic projects. This is where you add details of any project that requires financial investment that you want to put before the budget committee at Skaters to request money for the coming year to invest. So delete the example records and then add your own. The strategic projects and initiatives will be printed in the master budget. And this typically will be used at the end of stage two with a presentation to the board suggesting a way forward for the company. You can make reasonable assumptions when you add strategic projects and put a reasonable amount of information in there to help the financial committee and the MD make a decision as to whether to invest in any recommendations that you may have. There is a net present value function for investment appraisal and you can calculate the returns of any investment and supply that information with the budget. So any project that you add will then feature in the strategic spend and initiatives forms. Make reasonable assumptions about costs and benefits so that a proper cost benefit analysis can be conducted. Most of the data fields in the skaters manager form uh, will be blocked out so that you don't have permission to enter data. But if you go to the permissions tab on the form, then you can reset this so that you can enter data in various places in the manager form. Click unlock stage two, and this will give you permission to enter data in all of the different parts of the skaters manager form. 
as you can see they've all now been checked and you can go in and edit the different fields in the system. So for example you can run various new pricing scenarios and see what the impact on profitability would be. You can use different forecasts and edit the forecasts and you can enter different information about the company strategy so if you want to change the business model and various other things you can. When you've done all of those things then you will need to click on the master budget and this will create the master budget for the coming year that will be used by the budget committee to identify any new capital investments, strategic projects and make decisions about whether to invest in those. The master budget will then appear in the skaters docs folder in the budget folder and you can go and download, open that and share it with other people on your team or your tutor later. Once you've finished all of those things, you can quit the application and go back into stage two at any time you wish. OK, that's pretty much everything we wanted to cover in this session. So we've talked about how stage one of the simulation comes to an end and how you can access data to analyze about stage one. And then when you've done that, how you can go into the simulation in stage two as a manager and enter information about strategic projects, capital investment projects, or manipulate data in the system for different scenarios and then ultimately print off the master budget. Good luck.